We are excited to guide you through the transportation stipend application process. This video is designed to help you and your family navigate each step, ensuring you have all the information needed to complete it successfully. Our goal is to make this process as smooth and straightforward as possible. We'll walk you through the necessary steps, offer helpful tips, and address common questions to ensure you're fully prepared. Thank you for choosing the transportation stipend. Let's get started. For the 2025 to 26 school year, the Florida legislature has allocated $3 million to fund the transportation stipend program. This funding allows 4,000 eligible households to receive a stipend of $750 each to help cover transportation costs. Important note. Due to a reduction in available funding, not all families who received a stipend in the 2024 to 25 school year will automatically receive one this year. Priority will be given to renewing households with an eligible student. Any remaining stipends will be awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. It is important to note that to be eligible for the transportation stipend, your student must be enrolled in a public school that is not their assigned school or they must attend a developmental research school. If you have an account in EMMA, please proceed with completing the transportation stipend application process as shown in the following slides. New applicants can navigate to slide 21 for further instructions and guidance. Log into your EMMA account using your credentials. Scroll to the Available Scholarships section on the dashboard. Click the Apply button next to the Transportation Stipend description box in that section. Just a reminder, each household can receive only one transportation stipend of $750 per year. This stipend is for students from kindergarten to eighth grade. It's important to note that once an application for the transportation stipend is submitted, new students cannot be added until the initial application is processed. Please remember the following instructions. To start the application process, you must add all students who meet the eligibility criteria to the transportation stipend application. Please add all eligible students to the application by sliding the option button to the right. All students with blue option buttons will be added to the application. Next, confirm your student selection for the 2025 to 2026 transportation stipend and select continue to proceed with the application. From the student information tab, click view details under your student's name. This will allow you to review the information for the student you want to apply for. If your student isn't listed, don't worry, just follow the add a student process to include them in your application. Need to make changes? You can update any student details in the My Students tab. You'll also find the option there to add additional students to your application. The student information you see will be automatically filled in based on the details entered in the student's profile. If the field labeled student is my hasn't been completed in the profile, it will appear here as editable and required. Be sure to select the appropriate relationship before moving forward. Now, let's enter your student's enrolled school information. Start by selecting the county where your student's public school is located from the drop-down menu. Next, choose the school name from the list provided. This may include magnet schools, charter schools, or lab schools. Please note, students enrolled in virtual schools are not eligible for the stipend. Finally, select your student's grade level for the 2025 to 2026 school year. If you don't see your school listed in the drop-down, simply click in the box and begin typing the school's name. It should appear and become available for selection. At this point, you'll enter your student's assigned school information, this is the school assigned to your home address. Start by selecting the county where the assigned school is located. Then, choose the school name from the drop-down list. If you don't see the school listed, simply click in the box and begin typing the school's name. It should appear and become available for selection. For students receiving the transportation stipend, the guardian must provide a report card or test scores as proof of their enrollment at their current school. 
Acceptable documents include Progress reports A printout or screenshot from the student's online grade portal A letter from the school containing the student's name, school's name, and quarter dates A copy of the student's report card, if available Whichever document is uploaded must include the student's name, school name, school address, school year, and proof of attendance. Once the document is successfully uploaded, its name will appear on the screen as shown here. Please make sure the uploaded file is not password protected, as we cannot accept password protected documents. Please take note of the following instructions. If you are applying for multiple students, you will see them listed on your screen according to the information provided in this slide. Please be aware that even if you submit applications for several eligible students in your household, only one transportation stipend of $750 will be granted per household. Once you have completed the process for all students, click the Continue button to proceed. Remember, it's important to include all eligible students in the application. When you reach the Guardian information screen, you'll notice that most of the details are already filled in from your Guardian profile. On this screen, you'll see two addresses, your physical address and your mailing address. Please note, any stipend checks will be mailed to the address listed under mailing address in EMMA. If everything looks correct, simply click continue to move on. It's very important to make sure both addresses are accurate. If you need to make changes, click Save as Draft to save your progress. Then, click the Person icon in the upper right corner of the page to update your profile information. Once your edits are complete, return to your application and continue where you left off. You've now reached the Summary page. Here, you'll see an overview of your application, including the students listed on the scholarship and the Primary Guardian's contact information. Take a moment to carefully review all the details. Once everything looks correct, check the box to agree to the parent slash guardian terms and conditions before moving forward. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, enter your name and signature, and then click keep. Once that's done, the submit application button will become active and you'll be able to submit your application. If you need to go back and review any section before submitting, click Save as Draft to preserve your progress. Please note, once you submit your application, you will not be able to reopen or make changes to it. Congratulations! Your application has been successfully submitted. Thank you for completing the transportation stipend application. If you're a new applicant, the following slides are for you. If you're a new applicant, meaning you don't yet have a parent or guardian account in EMMA, this next section is just for you. We'll walk you through the steps to create your account and get started with the transportation stipend application process. Let's begin! Please remember the following instructions. Please visit apply.stepupforstudents.org to create an account. Click on the sign up link. Now, enter your email address and then click on the Send Code button. You will receive an email with a code to enter on the sign-up screen to continue. Please enter the verification code received via email into the designated box and then click Confirm. Click Continue to keep moving forward. Let's get started by filling out all the required fields on the account creation page. For account type, select parent slash guardian. Your username will be the login you use to access the system. We recommend using your email address. Enter your legal first name and legal last name. This should match the name of the parent or guardian. Finally, create a password. Along with your username, this will be how you log into Emma moving forward. Once all fields are complete, you'll be ready to move on to the next step. Please select three security questions and provide the corresponding answers. The answers will be used to verify your identity when contacting Step Up for students. 
Next, you'll be prompted to complete the two-step verification process. Make sure the primary phone number you provide can support multi-factor authentication. We recommend using a cell phone or a number that can receive live calls, not one that goes straight to voicemail or a recording. Click the link to review the terms, conditions, and rules. After reading through them, check the box to confirm that you agree, then click OK to continue. Before proceeding, please complete your Guardian profile, which is a one-time requirement. This is the place to update your information, like your address. If you prefer everything to be in Spanish, choose Spanish as your primary language. Please take note of the following instructions. Provide your contact information. If you want to authorize someone else to call on your behalf, select Add a Caller and add an authorized caller. For the authorized caller, create a four-digit PIN and ensure that the authorized caller knows the PIN. All fields are required. Once done, click on Add. The next step in setting up your profile is to manage consents. This allows step up for students to contact you. Please read and choose yes or no for each section. This section gives you the opportunity to select additional ways for us to communicate with you by adding your contact preferences. For example, if you want us to text you, then please select the box next to text. Once completed, click save. You will receive an email notification each time there is an update to your profile. Once you click Save, you will be automatically taken to your My Students section. Here, you can add new students. Now, click the blue button labeled Add a Student located in the top right corner of the screen. Please complete all required fields and double check the information for accuracy. Be sure to use full legal names, no nicknames. Once everything is correct, click Save to continue. Once you have added all your students, you can proceed by clicking on Apply for Scholarships to initiate the application process. Your parent slash guardian Emma account has been created. You are now eligible to apply for the transportation stipend. Please proceed to slide number four. Thank you for joining us today. If you need additional support with the application process, feel free to reach out to our engagement center Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You may also chat with us via our website or call us.